Greeting, this is Ahmad from Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how resource usage profile and resource usage spreadsheet works in Primavera P6. You can select resource usage profile and resource usage spreadsheet from above ribbon bar in Primavera P6 or you can find them by view menu in a show on bottom when you open resource usage a spreadsheet you find two pane in this the left pane is include your resource list and activities belong to this resource and the right pane is show you the distribution of that resource. If I come through the display and filter by current project resource, then I can find that what the activities belongs to this resource and assigned to this project. On the right pane, you can show the distribution based on remaining unit, actual unit, budgeted unit, and do the comparison based on your requirement by do customization for each field unit. As you see, I added budgeted and actual unit for comparison purpose. Then, if you select your resource, then activities regarding to these resources listed on the left pane. If you select the resources, then the activities in the above changes based on your resource selection. As you see, when I select the sample loan labor unit resource one, then these activities appear. But if I change it to the sample labor unit, then it's changed too. Also, you can change the resources to the assignment. When you change it to the assignment, in the above chart, you can find all the activities, but the assignment is updated based on your selection, the resources. On the right pane, you can set up your proper time scale. Over here, you can set, select your two-line or three-line for your time scale format and assign your time scale based on your requirement. It is available like time scale in gun chart. But let's to continue with resource usage profile. In the resource usage profile, you can show the curve of usage based on several options. If you select the resource usage profile, then right pane and left pane is appear. In the left pane, you can select your resources, but in the right pane, you can find the curve based on your setting. If you go to the right pane and right click, you can select your proper time scale based on your requirement. If you go to the resource usage profile option, then this dialog box appear to you. you. I have this opportunity to toggle on cost. Then if I do the apply, all the curve change to the cost. Also, financial period is available over here if i use the financial period then all the curve changes based on financial period information if i use the curve based on time interval 
or cumulative, the total curve and cumulative curve show to us. The blue curve show the actual unit in cumulative and the green curve show us the remaining early unit and the red curve is show us the over allocation early unit and also you can find the limit by the black curve if you go to the resource usage profile option you can select budget actual remaining early and remaining late for time interval and cumulative data you can disable the limit or show the limit and show the over allocation you can change the minor or major line for your curve or change the horizontal line from dotted solid or noun you can show the legend or delete it from your curve also you can use the 3d bar or change the background also the shortcut is available for user preferences you can change the setting for resource assignment over here if you select your resource then the curve is changed based on your resources if you want to use the filter by time or by resources you can go to the right pane deselect the show all project then these two filters are enabled and you are able to do the filter by time period you need to select your resource first then toggle on time period then if you select the time period the activities belongs to these resources are listed in the above section as you see I'm going to change the activities based on time also you can do the filter based on resources then if you change the resources the listed of activity will be changed if you like to do the zoom in you can do the zoom in and zoom out like this if you like to draw curve for budgeted and actual and remaining early and remaining late and do the comparison with all of them together you need to right click go to the resource usage profile option then select all the data which listed over here then if you like to create this curve in a suitable format you should go to the file print preview then select the option go to the print option and select the profile as you see this is my S curve for cumulative data and monthly data based on my project information in addition if you like to do the group and sort based on WBS for your selected resource you can go to the display go to the group and sort this option or default option which you can use instantly but if you want to do the group and sort based on WBS you can select the group and sort then change the WBS items over here then you can find the WBS also if you like to change it based on resource again you should go to the display 
group and sort and then change your suitable item for rearrangement. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www.globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.